हेलो चिल्ड्रेन वेलकम टू ऑल टू दिस मधु ऑफ ग्रामर क्लासेस इन प्रीवियस क्लास वी हैव रेड अबाउट द एडजेक्टिव एंड इट्स टाइप्स इट यूजेस टुडे वी विल रीड अनदर पार्ट ऑफ द चैप्टर एडजेक्टिव एंड इट इज पार्ट टू नाउ दिस इज टुडे वी विल रीड एडजेक्टिव एंड इट्स यूजेस इन योर प्रीवियस क्लास वी हैव रीड मीनिंग ऑफ एडजेक्टिव एट्रीब्यूट यूज ऑफ एडजेक्टिव प्रेडिकेट यूज ऑफ एडजेक्टिव एडजेक्टिव गो बिफोर द नाउन ओनली एडजेक्टिव आफ्टर द भर्व ओनली ऑल दिज चैप्टर्स वी हैव डिस्कस इन अर्थ प्रीवियस क्लास नाउ लुक एट दिस सम एग्जाम्पल्स आर रिटर्न हिअर आई थिंक समथिंग टेरिबल इज गोइंग टू हैपन एन अदर एग्जाम्पल एवरीथिंग नेसेसरी विल बी डन देर वाज नो वन important at the meeting now look at here i think something terrible here terrible look at this word terrible terrible it describes about the noun noun here is something this is noun and this is adjective it tells something more about the noun terrible is adjective similarly everything necessary will be done everything is a noun necessary is a adjective this is noun and this is adjective similarly here there was no one important at the meeting no one is here noun and important is here adjective these adjectives are used after the noun something everything no one like this so the the adjectives which come after the noun like something everything no no one nothing anything like this the adjectives generally come after the nouns example something nothing someone no one etc are called a post position use of adjective okay previously we have read attribute use of adjective predicate use of adjective this one is another use of adjective that is a post position of a adjective now we will go to the next slide look at here some adjectives can be used before a noun or immediately after it but uh, these adjectives have different meaning in each position look at some examples here the concerned mother rushed her baby to the doctor here the underlined word is an adjective and mother is noun the adjective is used before the noun and it is what uh, we have taught previously attribute use of adjective now look at the second example the doctor concerned same adjective is used here but uh, the word concern is used after the noun the doctor concerned told her not to, to worry here the same adjective used after the noun and it is predicate use of adjective so a same adjective can be used before the noun or after the noun but their meaning is different when concerned word is used before the noun it refer it tells worried mother here concerned is used for a worried mother but here the doctor concerned told her not to worry the doctor attending the baby the particular doctor the particular doctor who is attending the baby here the concern what describes like this similarly second example how is the present situation the members present in the meeting gave their opinion two similar adjectives but uh, this adjective is used before the noun and it is after the noun so their meaning also different here the in first uh, present uh, is used for the situation present situation now what is the situation that's why present is used here here the member present in the meeting gave their opinion the members who were attending in the meeting here this word present refers to the people who have attended the meeting now third example he has an opposite opinion the smoke is coming out of the house opposite two similar adjectives same be used before the noun after the noun but here the meaning is different opposite opinion 
Opposite opinion is entirely different. The opinion differs from person to person. Here, smoke is coming out of the house opposite. It is it refers to side, facing the speaker or direction. So the difference meaning is the meaning is different. Opposite word here is opposite adjective, but the meaning is difference because the use is also difference. Now we will move towards the next slide. Some nouns are used as adjectives. In day to day life, we also come across some nouns are also used as adjectives. Look at the example. I enjoy television program. Television is, an, is a noun. Program is a noun. But here, television is used as adjective in this sentence. Similarly, I am reading a library book. Book is noun, library book. Library is also noun, but here library is used as an adjective. In such cases, in some cases, nouns are also used as adjectives. Look at the another examples. Gita is reading in science college. College is noun. Science is used as an adjective, but actually it is noun. Similarly, do you like to dance in a marriage procession? Procession? And marriage. Marriage is used as is uh, adjective here. We have a lot of mango trees in our orchard. Here, mango trees. This is noun. Mango is also is a noun, but used as adjective here. So these types of adjectives like television, library, science, marriage, mango, these type of adjectives which are actually they are noun, but here is used as adjective. These type of adjectives are also called classifiers. Now, we will move to the next slide. Look at here. Some matching words are given. Some nouns are given in column A. Some nouns are given in column B. But the nouns which are used in column A, they act as adjective. Now, we have to match. Photo, which will be the right, right at noun. Photo studio, then marriage, which will be the answer? Marriage ceremony, river, river, water, school, school, school bus, yes, child, yes, child marriage, paper, yes, boat, morning. Morning, 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 sun. Picture, remain one, that is frame. Okay, so this way we can use the nouns as adjectives in this way. Now we will move to the next slide. Okay, now look at some ed, en, or ing form of adjectives. Look at here, some words are base form, ed, en form, and ing form of the words are given bore bored boring amaz, amazed amazing amused amused amusing confused confused confusing ex, depressed depressed depressing disappoint disappointed disappointing disgust disgusted disgusting frightened frightened frightening shock shocked shocking Surprise, surprised, surprising, excite, excited, exciting, speak, write, written, writing, speak, spoken, speaking, break, broken, breaking, steal, stolen, stealing, run, run, running. They are the idiot en form of adjective and they are the ing form of adjective. Now, we will use it in the sentence how. We will move, move to the next slide. Look at here some examples. I am bored. In previous slide we have read bored, bored, boring. Here a deep form of bore is written. Present uh, personal feeling. We feel boring. It, it expresses the feeling of a person which is not, uh, uh, it cannot be seen. It cannot be seen. It is inherent or hidden. They are excited. This word excited tells about the feelings of the people. 
it also it is also hidden it cannot be shown he is frightened another it is also feeling his personal feeling why do you lo- look so depressed here the word depressed id form of the adjective it tells the condition of a person why do you 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 means you are one of the person look depressed it is the condition of a person similarly don't sit on a broken chair it is the en form break en form is broken here this word tells about the condition of the chair look at another example english is the most widely spoken language spoken it is the also en form of the adjective and it is used before the noun language and it tells language in the world condition of the english language english language generally spoken all over the world and highly spoken language so it is it describes the condition of the language similarly the police seize the stolen ornaments here stolen is adjective and it is en form of adjective am i right okay and it tells about the condition of the ornament it is stolen it is the condition of the ornament from all this discussions what do we understand the ed or en form of the adjective are generally used to express the feeling as well as to express the condition of the things look at here the definition the adjectives ending in ed form or en form describe the personal feeling or the condition of a thing do you understand now some ed form or en forms describes the feeling of a person some condition of the thing do you understand now we will move to the next slide look at some more examples here written the movie was very interesting here which is the adjective interesting interesting is the adjective and here ing form of adjective previously we have discussed ed and en form of adjective now ing form of adjective. what is interesting the movie is interesting okay and uh, why we feel interesting because it is the result it is the result of a movie due to movie we feel interesting so effect or result of the movie on somebody that's why ing form of adjective is used here similarly grandma told us some amusing stories what is the adjective yes amusing amusing is the adjective and here the ing form of adjective grandma told us some told us some amusing stories due to stories ah we feel amused we feel amused so effect of story due to story we feel amused when something creates feeling in our mind that is ing form of adjective is used look at here third example his long speech was very boring boring is adjective here it is the ing form of adjective okay due to long speech the word adjective boring is used it is shown it can be seen by the gesture and posture of a person it can be seen so due to long speech it is the cause it is the result of long speech we feel boring so ing of adjective form is used because of result of speech similarly for the smile on your face is relaxing to me relaxing very the adjective relaxing it is also ing form of adjective why we feel relaxed because the smile due to smile this is the result of a smile this is the effect of a smile we feel relaxed so relaxing is used here ing form of adjective because of effect of a smile now his behavior was uh, disgusting here adjectives ing form of adjectives disgusting why you feel disgust unhappy boring because of the behavior so the result of a behavior effect of a behavior we feel disgusting it is shown it can be shown it can be shown by the gesture and posture of a person so disgusting is adjective and this is the effect of a behavior 
डोंट जम्प फ्रम द रनिंग ट्रेन हियर रनिंग इज यूज एज एडजेक्टिव हियर इन द आई एनजी फॉर्म ऑफ एडजेक्टिव ओके हियर बट इट इज नॉट द इफेक्ट द ट्रेन इज इन मोशन और समथिंग विच इज कंटिन्यू विच इज रनिंग विच इज इन मोशन देन ऑल्सो वी कैन यूज आई एन जी फॉर्म ऑफ एडजेक्टिव द साउंड ऑफ द फ्लोइंग स्ट्रीम इज एंजॉयबल फ्लोइंग Flowing, I in the form of adjective. Again, he is used. Why it is used here? Because the stream, flowing stream, means running stream. The water of the uh, stream is running. That's why the water is uh, in motion. We used here I in the form of adjective. A living thing can only react. Here, living is the adjective. I in the form of adjective. Why it is used? Because life is continuing. the action which is continue the the thing which is in motion okay the effect of feeling in these cases we use ing form of adjective now from all the discussions what we understand the adjectives ending with ing describe the effect the result of something or somebody or something is in motion or continue which is in motion or in continue then we use a ing form of adjective now we will move next slide now there are some questions alternate is given to you we have to choose choose the correct alternatives to alternatives are given which is appropriate we have to choose and fill in the blanks there were there's houses option is given broken and breaking tell which will be the right answer Yes, broken houses. Broken houses is the right answer. Why? Why? Because it tells the condition of the house. Previously, we have discussed the condition, so that's why broken is the right answer. Next, our picnic was des exciting or excited. Yes, picnic. It is the effect of feeling. Pick, due to picnic, we feel excited. So, what will be the answer? Exciting or excited? Yes, exciting. Because excited is personal feeling, but here picnic creates feeling in us. That's why I N G form. She is really des confused or confusing by my behavior. It may be with my behavior. Okay, so she is really des. It is a personal feeling, feeling of the girl, and personal feeling describes or we use confused ed form. So this is the right answer. We met des villagers, distressed or distressing. Generally, we met des villagers. The villagers condition here written. What is the condition of the villagers? The, when it refers to the condition, it must be yes, distressed villagers. Then we consoled the dead women, weeped or weeping, because the women are weeping; they are crying. The crying is continue in continue motion. Then we, at that time we use a ing form, weeping. The poor are suffering a lot by days. Rising or rising price of commodities because nowadays the price of commodities is growing day by day, rising day by day. Okay, the due to due to the rise of price, this is the effect of the person. When effect is written, result is given, then this is the form. The poor are suffering a lot by the rising price of commodities. Then, question number seven. We ask them not to be des, worrying or worried. We ask them not to be, not to be. They're feeling, they're feeling not to be worried. Question number eight. Our work was so des that people praised us. Why people praised us? Because our work is satisfying. Or satisfied. It is the effect of work. 
then the effect is written in the form our work was so satisfying the villagers were actually shocking or shocked the villagers the feeling of the villagers when it refers to personal feeling then ed the villagers were actually shocked my father was dazed to see my speedy progress in study what is the feeling of the father but uh, due to the speedy progress it is the effect of speedy progress then effect it comes to the effect then ing form my father was uh, sorry amazed my father was amazed to see my speedy progress in study okay next uh, we will move to the next slide now check your answers you have written all these answers of the previous questions you will check after all then let's move to the next this is all about today's class thank you all bye bye